Hello everyone, I'm Sibel Briers, expert at the uh, Bioregions Facility and Bioeconomy Program of the European Forest Institute. So I'm here today at the EUFRO 2024 conference presenting a survey we launched uh, at the public and private sector to see how they perceive the bioeconomy. Uh, we launched a survey in nine different regions. Uh, now let me give you a few insights about the survey results. Uh, we saw that uh, the results are influenced by the region that the respondents belong to and also to the bioeconomy familiarity. With regards to the region, it are the local uh, important economic sectors, uh, the biomass availability, uh, as well as cultural, social and political practices that influence how the bioeconomy is perceived. So with regards to the bioeconomy familiarity, we noticed that are those respondents with a higher familiarity who are more willing to further develop the bioeconomy. And we also see that they have a more holistic understanding of the bioeconomy. Despite seeing some differences in between the regions and the bioeconomy familiarity groups, uh, we also see many uh, similarities and we actually see uh, a consensus among the different respondents, independent from uh, demographic uh, groups, etc. Uh, so we see in general that there are very positive attitudes towards the bioeconomy and we see that conceptually the bioeconomy is highly linked to uh, circularity and sustainability. With regards to the benefits, we see that uh, environmental, social and economic benefits of the bioeconomy are perceived. Anyhow, when we are asking what is the most important benefit, uh, respondents refer to the environmental one. So we see that this is the distinguishing factor from the conventional economy. Then we also saw that um, actually both public and private sector are very willing to develop the bioeconomy. Um, but the private sector shows a bit higher willingness and also they have in the past been more involved in bioeconomy projects. Uh, anyhow, we also asked the, both the public and the private sector who they see as being more responsible for three different tasks in moving the bioeconomy forward. And we see that both sectors agree that for the three tasks, it is actually the public sector who is more responsible. These three tasks are uh, ensuring beneficial environmental and social impacts of the bioeconomy, um, promoting and communicating the bioeconomy among the general public and also investing in the bioeconomy. If you want to know more about the research and about bioeconomy in different European regions, then please visit the Bioregions website in the description.